What's up everyone? Uh, today I'm gonna show off some things that I picked up while out, um, I guess you could say traveling a little bit. Um, some Walmart hunting for goodies such as Dragon Majesty. For example, I got these three packs right here and those are going to be kept sealed but I'm gonna bust them out of this weird third-party packaging. I got a pack of Generations, and this is all going to be uh, packaged by the same company. So that's cool, that's going to be sealed. Uh, flash fire, and then another flash fire. And then I saw uh, Phantom Forces with the Mega Manetric art, and Primal Clash with the Primal Groudon art. So those were pretty, like, I want to say rare finds because I haven't been seeing them in my, my local Walmarts, but something that I did pick up recently that was a super local find was more Hidden Fates uh, single pack blisters. So I'm actually going to open those up out of the packaging and I'm going to open those packs. I'm not going to keep those sealed, um, but I, I think that it's a good idea to just keep or to, to open the third party packaging because it really doesn't add a lot of value I I don't I don't think it would if it was a official sleeved blister that would be one thing so something I found in a Walgreens was this four pack and a bonus card uh, thing but you can't really see it but as Steam Siege um, I think this one has Celestial Storm Sun and Moon Base and Unbroken Bonds so I'm actually gonna open up all of those and you know, like see what happens. And this one also has Unbroken Bonds, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, and I believe that's another Steam Siege. So I'm gonna get right into that by opening up these boxes right here. I have no idea what the likelihood of this being repackaged is. If you look, look on the back, it is distributed by Fairfield, which is the same uh, company that you'll see the distributing stuff um, like in targets, so it's not anything too crazy, but it was definitely something different than I'm used to seeing. So let's see what the bonus card is. Uh, a reverse hollow Zubat from Sun and Moon Base. Interesting choice, I guess. All right, so like, uh I, I really don't want to open this. I, okay, so that's, I'm gonna keep that sealed. There's no point opening that. But these, I'm gonna open these. What's up? Real smooth. Special storm. Oh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of when the code card comes out this way, but so there's a code. Toss that on the floor. All right. Combuskin, Minnan, Tate and Liza, Wingle. I saw a lot of those at the beach. Metatite, C Dot, Clam Pearl, Fanfi, Reverse Trico, and a Wailord non hollow rare. Go right into the Sun and Moon. If I can get it open. Okay, so that came out normal, but it's a green code. I don't expect too much from this. Um, I'm pretty sure that, like, especially with those those flash fire packs, I have a, a very good feeling that those things are weighed. That was back when you actually, and even, even going back to Primal Clashes, Phantom Forces, you could weigh packs, uh, reverse Rotom decks, and the city Y. You could weigh packs to figure out if there was a hollow or better in them. So I don't see why this company wouldn't do that and then sell the light pack. So that's just another reason why. I wanna just keep them sealed, I guess. Um, but I will, I'm gonna open up these random lightning boxes and then I'll open up those four packs of Hidden Fates for y'all. Gligar, Spritzy, Doduo, Reverse Rhyhorn, and a Marowak. So, I mean, if I was like a little kid, I probably would've had a lot of fun with that. But I, I know that these, these aren't really sets besides Steam Siege that you can successfully weigh, but like who knows? It, like I was, I was, I was more or less in the middle of nowhere when I was buying these things. So I'd like to think that there's not a lot of like malicious intent going on with like 
uh, scalpers and resellers and the likes. Um, it's just more of like just unlucky pulls, not exactly finding anything too special because, you know. But I mean, I found on Broken Bonds packs and I thought that was cool, so I picked them up. And like, I don't know, who knows? The other one is another reverse hollow common, a Murkrow. Interesting mystery. Okay, so two of these Steam Siege, those are to be kept sealed because they have virtually nothing of value to me in them. If you're wondering why it's, if you're, if you're new to this, it's just because Steam Siege, I was actually around when, I mean, I was playing the game when it had come out and everything, so it's like I, I already collected the set and there's, there's nothing that I don't need. If there's anything I don't have, there's nothing that is possibly more expensive than the price of a single pack. So if I if I was missing, you know, like a secret rare or something, I could just I could just go ahead and Oh no, Cosmoon is a rare. What? Well, I forgot all about that, so that was weird. Now I got Burning Shadows. The smart thing to do would actually keep this sealed. But at this point I have enough Burning Shadows sealed that I don't really care, but it's probably going to be a green. Yeah, these are all green codes, so... Let's let all the trash slide to the floor. Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Semipore, Solarock, Wimpod, Tokenamaru, Krogunk, Panseer, Magikarp, Reverse Rat, and a Meowstic non-hollow. Interesting. So then here's the final Unbroken Bonds. I, I don't know, I really... I want to see what could possibly, what, like, what does this set still have to offer besides, like, the obvious, oh, here, okay, so here's a white code, so we'll see if that's legit or not, who knows, it'll probably be a hollow something, I don't even remember what the hollows in a set are, electromagnetic radar, yeah, frogadier, beast bringer, ghastly, tangela, venonet, rat, Goldeen, a reverse Goldeen, and a Honchkrow GX. Interesting. I think that I actually, I don't, I don't think I have that. So, or if I, yeah, I don't think I have that. So that's going to be sleeved. I just need to open up a new case of sleeves. So here we go with the, the GameStop sleeves. These are, they're basically penny sleeves, but they're, they're obviously not a penny each. Uh, clear nice sleeves that are a much more solid and a tighter fit than traditional penny sleeves. Cost like five bucks for a hundred of these. They slide in real good, so there is the single pull, so I guess I can't complain too much about that. But now I'm gonna go straight into these Hidden Fates repacks. I would like to open uh, the regular Hidden Fates boxes and or tins when I find them. But for right now, I'm keeping those bigger things sealed, and I just, you just never know with, with these things. I did pull a shiny, a shiny, uh, Gabite from one of the, I think, three or four packs of these that I opened. Just sucks that they, like, they throw this garbage in to make it seem getting more than just the pack but each of these that you're seeing with a like orange background those were all approximately um, eight dollars um that's actually this is kind of cool um these are all just commons but they're of different eras um I think that this is I, I don't know the exact set I, I'll have to check but um it's heart gold soul silver era so that's actually kind of neat i like when there's actually some older cards in these random repacks even when they're just commons one time for my birthday a friend bought me a couple of the things where it's like oh you get like 20 random cards or something and like one single rare and you know like she didn't know what she was doing but it ends up being pretty cool because they had 
Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge cards in them that I still have today. So you really never know. I mean, granted that was a few years ago. So let's get into that. As much as I would like to keep the sealed like for an art set, I technically have an art set because of having the sealed product that I do. So, oh boy, let's get into some Hidden Fates. Finally, it's, I've been holding on to these for at least a day now, I don't know. Okay, Charmeleon, Proxcrit, Farfetch'd, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, oh my god, yes, oh my god, you guys have no idea how much I wanted this, Full Art Guzma, and a Starmie GX, not too bad, um, holy hell, yeah, no, that's, that is a mega fine pull by me, definitely needed this Guzma, it's kind of, it's lacking, um, lacking texture but it's still damn that is a that is just a nice card I never I never had the full art Guzma before so that's just I don't know that's really cool now I'm opening up a Charizard art so I can get this glue unsealed hopefully that wasn't the only hit I mean even seriously I could open the these three packs and there could be nothing and I would still be like, oh, well, you know, I got this like 15, 20, 25 dollar Kuzma thing. There's gonna, I'm gonna have had the price on the screen, of course. Fairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Reverse Coughing, and a Clefable. For some reason there's actually a rare from Hidden Face that I don't have, it's just the regular Weezing. I think I I did have it in reverse hollow at some point, but like it's, it's gone, I don't know what happened to it. So that's actually a random like not shiny card that I'm technically looking for in Hidden Fates. Here's another Mew pack, Water Energy, Scyther, Metapod, Magmar, Fairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Nice, a shiny Curlia, and a Jolteon. So I actually have this Curlia already, but that will make a very, very sweet addition to the trade binder for sure. So for any of my local peeps looking for this and want to trade me some shinies of equal value, hit me up. Last pack. So I think actually, like out of out of four packs getting two hits that was that was pretty decent all right magmar misty's gym charmeleon caterpie paris charmander clefairy slowpoke slowpoke a reverse brock's grit and then here's the wheezing that i needed excellent so that actually okay well nice Okay, so out of all of those crazy packs I just opened, I got I got the wheezing that I needed for some reason, a shiny, a shiny full, full art supporter Guzma, Haunch Crow GX from Unbroken Bonds, and then the old Starmie GX from Hidden Fate. So not too bad. Um, if you're interested in the things like this that I'm keeping sealed, or if you want to like see my sealed collection and or see the things that I'm willing to part with, aka like sell or trade even, I will probably be making a video featuring all of those things soon, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this. Consider leaving a like or a comment or dropping a sub, it really, it really helps and I've been uploading at least once or twice a week, um, so you will definitely see me soon.